everybody, Joe Cassidy here. It's been a while, but I've got a good list going for me, and to start off, I saw a trailer recently. So bad! So obviously bad, I just had to rant on it. Oz, the Great and Powerful. Just letting you guys know, I watched the trailer featured on the Escapist website. I know that there are more on IMDb, but whatever. I know it's wrong of me to judge a movie by its trailer, but... I admit that, but, personally, if I can watch a movie that I bagged its, on its trailer for and then come to respect that movie, then I can admit where I was wrong. There have been plenty of movies I've seen that have had really crappy trailers, but I really like the movie. But, um, in this case, I don't think that's going to happen. Who the hell wanted a prequel to The Wizard of Oz? I mean, was anyone really that interested in the man behind the curtain at the end of the classic? I mean, I, I, okay, I can understand the appeal in wanting to know how a man from Dorothy's world got to be the great and magnificent Oz. But there are books for that. There's a Wikipedia for that. Hell, there's even Wicked for that. But no. What we wanted was apparently a, a premise-suggested story adaptation of a classic movie that made cinema history. So what happened in this trailer? We see James Franco spout off dumb and blunt lines like, I don't want to die, I haven't accomplished anything yet, while he's banging Mila Kunis and getting duped by the obvious wicked witches, while he's running and flailing about on one of the most eye-straining, computer-generated messes of a fantasy world, all to the teeth-gnashing, hair-pulling, nails on a chalkboard screeching command of a fucking prophecy over and over and over what the fuck ever if this isn't bad enough for you let me explain the three signs displayed in the trailer of why this movie is not going to be good number one from the director of the spider-man trilogy number two from the producer of Alice in Wonderland, and number three, starring James Franco. You think it's good advertising to showcase the Spider-Man movies and the Alice in Wonderland remake? If you can't tell, I'm not a fan of the toilet-flushing shame spiral that was the Raimi Spider-Man movies that took all credibility from what was a lame superhero in the first place. Also, I despise the Tim Burnout Alice in Wonderland sequel that gave a middle finger to all Disney and Hot Topic fans and wiped a piece of shit all over the popularity of the original work. Oz, the Great and the Powerful looks exactly like another attempt at the scamming formula that was Alice in Wonderland. I'm being totally biased here, people, but you cannot seriously defend these movies! As much as I like The Evil Dead, I couldn't give a bigger shit about Sam Raimi being good at anything else. And Joe Roth? I can't even name anything good that he's done, but his fingerprints are all over this, using the same fantasy bullshit from Alice in Wonderland and Snow White and the Huntsman. And lastly, James Franco. One of the biggest bores you could get for this movie. Maybe it's just me, but every time I see his face, I just think... Uh... If you look at Wikipedia, this movie was planned to star Robert Downey Jr. And that would actually make this movie pretty awesome because Downey Jr. is a badass. But no, he refused, for good reason. So then they got the idea to do a Johnny Depp-Tim Burton collaboration, and as much as I would have hated that, at least it would have gotten more people in those movie seats. But no, we got James Franco, the Spider-Man sloppy seconds. Ugh, just watching the trailer alone feels like all kinds of wrong. I haven't gotten any other opinions. I watched this alone. It appears exactly like Alice in Wonderland and Snow White and the Huntsman, down to the shitty CG creatures and the most crowded and distracting soundstage of a fantasy world. What was a simple premise has now turned itself into a bastardized product thrown in with a prophecy in it. Another fucking prophecy. Bottom line. This movie has to be dealt with. I plan on seeing this. I will make a review about it, defending my biased, selfish perspective. And I will warn you to not see it. There's only the slimmest of chances I will tell you to go see this movie. And only because it will fail so horrendously. But, ugh, I doubt that even that will happen.